Hello friends, this is Summer once again from Cinetech and welcome to the part 4 of our React Native Firebase Expo series. Okay, so in this one I'll be working you through how to fetch data from the Firestore database using Expo and of course we'll be using the latest version of Firebase which is version 10 and TypeScript which has become the favorite of most developers. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe if you are new, um, please like this video, please share and comment. Okay, so now let's jump right in. Okay, so in our previous video, um, I worked you through how to add a document. So now let's try and fetch that document. So here we have this document from our previous video. So now let's try and fetch this document. Okay, so great. So I'm going to be creating a function. I'm going to call it um, fetch db. Okay, so just fetch data. And async. So an arrow function, I don't need any parameters. Okay. So as we always do, I'm going to head over to the documentation and uh okay. So so read data, so um get data. Okay, so great. Okay. um okay so get a document so i'm going to grab this so i'm showing you how to use the documentation to learn and i'm going to okay so it's already here okay so great so i'm uh, importing this and what else can we do um so now let's grab this guys and where is our function so this is our function so let's put this here Okay, so great. Um, so I think I wait. Okay, so let's go and grab the third person. Oh, okay. So now let's grab these guys. So copy and let's just paste these guys here. Okay, so great. So I'll be doing some little tweaks on this. So now let's import. Use state. So use state is here. Don't forget to import use state. I'm going to set a state. So I'm going to do const um, user info and set user info. So use state. And what should we give it? So string or undefined. Okay, so I think this should do. Okay, so I've thought of something. Just to receive, let's just use the any type. And since you are changing to any, let's just make this now. Okay. So I, I, I made it string or undefined because we can, undefined can be returned to us. Okay, since we are dealing with um, async await stuff. Okay, so great. So now, um, what else can we do? Um, let's see if where's the error coming from. What's wrong? Uh, okay, let me just format my code. Um, okay, let me just put this here. Okay, so format my code and let's see. So let me get terminal a bit bigger and let's log in with our uh, so the Peterson at gmail.com and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now let's log in. Okay, so we get some some we get some stuff returned to us in our console. Okay, so this is the user object. So now to see everything clearly, let's do use the use effect and uh, okay. So in our dependency array, we will not need anything. Okay, so now let's just call what's the name of our function once again? So fetch data. Okay, so now let's see if so let me call fetch data. Okay, so nothing shows. Okay, so now let's make use of our set user info. 
okay okay so once we have console logged what's that okay okay so i think my internet is breaking here okay so now once we've called this so now we can do set user info and then we pass in doc dot data and okay so now let's see if again okay so they are saying no such documents this is because we are not referencing the right collection so the collection is users and uh, let's change this so let's just make it info and let's see if. okay so still no such documents okay let me reload my application so we still get um no documents found okay but then if we copy the uid and uh okay so pass it here so this is because this is the name of the document we specified but to make this dynamic we can actually do this by getting the entire document which is found in the firebase documentation okay so great but before we do that let's test this first so let me paste the, this particular uid here and when i save I get it in my console just as I specified here. Okay, so um, let me duplicate this line of code and um, so when I do user info and question mark, so optional chain, and I do let's say email and I save, I get the email, but this is not the best way to do this, so I'm going to. Um, go ahead and grab this one so let me first of all copy this so copy and let me paste this here okay uh, thank god firebase didn't yell at us and uh, let me grab this piece of code real quick okay so let me put it here so const get let me make this get data and async an arrow function let me paste this here let me get rid of this line and change this to use this okay so i'm going to do github copilot so i'm going to do set user info i'm going to pass let me just copy this uh okay so copy and paste and let's call this function here so it gets data and let me comment this out okay so now let's see so watch what happens so we still get the same thing just that this is stable because um we can have multiple documents here just as we have here so we can grab can guess for each and every one okay so great so now i can so it still works so now let's try and do for name and see and we get the name of the user okay so guys essentially this is how to get data from firestore using the latest version of firebase which is version 10 so thanks so much for watching this one and um, i'll see you in the next tutorial